happy day, I'm <laughs> And it's about time I made some use of myself. I'm gonna get a part-time job. Things have been a little, you know, uninspiring, and I think it's time for Junior Gump Geller, best name I ever heard, to get a job, although we have to wait till we're high school to do that, so let's just get there. Junior Gump Geller is officially 14 years old, and it is time to join the workforce. And now I wanna know how many part-time jobs I can get, because I'm a hustler. Wait, why can't I get, like, the cool stuff? Donut maker? I wanna do that! Maybe I have to be 15 or 16 to be a donut maker? So for now, I'm gonna get a newspaper route. Throw some newspapers around. Can I work harder? No. I mean, why would I, right? Like, I'm in school. Wait, I can look at my school career? Wait, am I still in elementary? Okay, I start high school at 15, so you can get a paper route prior to high school, but now it is time for the real jobs. Wow, I already have $2,900 in my bank? Who knew paper routes are so good? Pool cleaner? Mm, that's not very good, but we're gonna do it. The nice thing about these jobs is they'll hire anyone. I'd know. Dairy Queen hired me and they... Should not have done that because all of the brownie batter went missing and nobody knew why. I'm gonna get my driver's license because I can afford a car! I have a life! Nitro boost, that sounds good. One way or sharp curve? I think it's sharp curve. It's like one time those came up and I was like, woo! So I think it's that. Boom. Can I get another part-time job? Car wash attendant? Golf shop? Oh, I can get all the stuff! I can get all the stuff! Concessions attendant? I don't know if I want to get that job because like my ex works there, who I dated when I was nine, but still... I gotta make sure that he's not dating any new girls, so I'm getting that. You can't find time in your schedule to take this position? Okay, well guess who's quitting their newspaper route? Resigning. Boom. Although they did take really good care of me. And it's time to get that job. Keep an eye on my ex. Perfect. I'm 17 years old with $19,000 in my bank. I cannot believe this. I'm gonna look at my assets. Oh, I'm gonna go to a car dealer. I can buy a car dealership. Hopefully my parents like will sign off on it. Azzy's Auto Emporium. I knew that that Azzy money was gonna be expensive. What about this Mazda? Oh, everyone likes that. No, I'm gonna get a Chrysler. Oh, the condition's bad. A Fiat? It's brand new. It's brown. No one's gonna date me in my brown car. My ex at my job isn't gonna be like, check out that brown car. I'm gonna get a gray Toyota Corolla. Yes, it's a bit of a mom car, but we're buying it with cash. Ah, I graduated. I have fibromyalgia. Wow, 18 hit me real fast. I'm taking some time off because I've got part-time jobs. I'm gonna get just so many part-time jobs. Mall kiosk worker? Oh my goodness, how many part-time jobs can a girl get? I wanna like get as many jobs as possible and see if I can get expelled from school. So I'm going to time travel. Time machine to five years ago. Did it work? Hello? Hello? I'm still 18. We're gonna try the time machine one other time. Hopefully the both payments didn't go through because like, you know, I just got a part-time job and I can't be spending all this money like crazy. <laughs> You broke your parents' wireless router while you were playing. What'll you do? Uh, I guess I'll admit it. I am an honest, hard-working child. <gasps> Pete Cuban? You confessed to your friends that you have a huge crush on a boy named Pete Cuban, and now they won't stop teasing you about your feelings in class. It's hard being 13 again. Uh, I don't want to keep being teased, but the truth of the matter is, I did tell everybody in my class that I like Pete just to make my ex jealous. You know, the ex I dated that I was nine? I'm gonna ask him out anyway. Okay, I'm going out with Pete Cuban. What a catch. Your boyfriend wants to break up with you already? I beg him to stay. Stay with me, Pete. He decided to stay, okay. Don't tell anyone that you tried to dump me, okay? Because that is embarrassing for me. What is this? Yield ahead. Passed it. Now that you've passed your driving test, your parents want to buy you a Toyota Corolla. It's almost like my parents know. My trajectory of life. I'm accepting it gracefully. And it is time to get so many jobs. I'm going to be a dog walker. Boom. I'm gonna be a pet sitter, because, you know, I like dogs. Got a lot of uh, experience with them. And what part-time job shall I take? Concessions attending, because again, I have to keep an eye on my ex. I'm focusing so much time on my ex that I also have to take some time away from my ex. So I'm also going to be a pizza maker. And while I'm at it, I'm just gonna go ahead and be a yoga receptionist. And while I'm at it, I'm also just gonna go ahead and tutor some people, because I am smart. 
Okay, I made 13K in one year. My mom notices how exhausted I am and tells me life is too short to not enjoy it. Well, you know what I say to that mom? I say, I wanna be a swim instructor. I'm too busy. Oh, well then I'm, maybe, I'll, maybe I can like stack some freelance gigs. Tutor, again, lawnmower, let's go. Hopefully I don't have like a heart attack at the ripe young age of 17. My work life is too lucrative, so I'm dropping out. Boom. I was hoping to get expelled, dropped out instead. So many jobs, 26K in the bank. Ew, I've been with my boyfriend Pete, who I don't even like for five years. I'm gonna like work harder at the concession because I want my boyfriend to like, or I want my ex to think that, you know, <laughs> I'm a pretty hard worker. I'm gonna work harder at making pizza and I'm gonna just work so hard as a yoga receptionist. Work, 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 work. Product tester, that sounds good. Hopefully I don't get sick. I'm gonna work harder at my, I'm gonna test all of the weird products they can give to me. I'm out here testing them, taking them, shoving them in my armpits. Everything, everything you could ever want. want. Front hotel desk clerk, give me that. How many jobs can a girl have? Collections specialist, I guess I'm just doing so much corporate stuff. How many jobs can I have? Crossing guard? Oh, I'm so gonna be that, oh. I don't have time to be a crossing guard, but I have a lot of jobs. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six jobs. I'm gonna work harder at the concession. Boom. Ugh, my boyfriend who I don't even like began studying political science at university unless he becomes the president. I'm leaving him. Maybe I can put in more hours. I'm gonna ask for more hours at the concession stand. You requested more hours. It's been rejected. I bet my ex had something to do with that. I really bet he did. How could he do this to me? I got 90K to my name and I'm 20 years old. Let me do what I want to do. Oh gosh, I can't believe how hard I work. I can't believe how hard I work all the time. Your boyfriend Pete asked you to marry him. You've been together for eight years, what'll you do? On the one hand, I do kind of want to marry him to get back at my ex. And on the other hand, I can't think of anything on the other hand, so we're marrying him. Sure. Why not? I guess I'm gonna buy a... No, I'm gonna go do a freelance gig. Handyman? I'm pretty handy. No one responded to your ad? Nobody's picking up this wonderful part-time job working doorman. Check it out. You can't find the time? I'm about that grind life, you know? I just wanna keep grinding. And I like how I have six jobs, but it says concessions attendant at the top. It's because it's my priority. It's my baby. I'm gonna ask for more hours. Give me more. Denied again, the people at the cinema just really do not like me. I'm starting to wish I had idle hands so I could see what kind of work the devil has available because it has to be so much better than the work I'm doing now. Okay, so unfortunately, it's been very stressful at my part-time jobs. I'm not doing too well right now. My ex has not noticed me. I've been walking around with like these rings on my hand being like, oh, I got engaged. And he was like, okay, that's cool. Like I have a girlfriend, she's really pretty. And I'm like, oh, how pretty. Huh? How pretty is she? Your fiance Pete is demanding you get married. You've been engaged for six years. I don't even, but I like, I want to, but I don't know if this is gonna make my ex jealous at all. Ugh. I kind of want to call it off. Although maybe getting married isn't gonna make him jealous, but maybe having like six kids will make him jealous. So I'm planning the wedding. It's gonna be in a barn with no honeymoon. Get married in a barn for $258, let's do it. You're thinking about whether you should sign a prenup. My net worth is 321,000. And his net worth is $17? Ah, you are signing that prenup. But tell my ex that I uh, didn't make you sign it. True love. Now that you're married, you're wondering if you should change your name. I don't know, I really like the last name Gump Geller. Like, it is sick. But I could be Mrs. Gump Geller Cuban or Mrs. Gump Cuban? I don't know if Gump Cuban is like the play right now. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna keep Mrs. Gump Geller. And he decided to keep his name. Why don't you change your last name to $17? I'm working harder. I'm 30 years old and my boyfriend hasn't- <laughs> Sorry, I keep saying boyfriend. In my mind, he's my boyfriend. I'm 29 years old and my ex still hasn't noticed me. Kind of upset about it. I'm gonna set up a little blind date and he's gonna think that, you know, it's not me, but then I'm gonna show up and he's gonna fall in love with me. Hey ex, let's go. Oh, Jay Cubs counts as my ex? Didn't see that one coming. During a baseball game, you meet a young man. And by that, by meet, I mean like I was there waiting by the door and I was waiting to see what seat he was sitting in. And then I kicked that person out of their seat. Um, I'm asking. Oh, aren't I married? 
I'm now dating Jay Cub Scout, but I'm married. The judge has recognized your prenuptial agreement is, and is therefore determined that no settlement amount is required to finalize your divorce. So now it's just me and Jay working at the concessions. While out riding your bike, you encounter a businessman laughing at you. I'm gonna assault him. You attacked a businessman who laughed at you, but he dodged me? Wow, quick. What a quick guy. I mean, I should've, I've been working on my cardio at all of my part-time jobs. Unfortunately, I like, I like to hide in the freezer and eat the pizza dough. Things aren't going well for me, but I am pregnant. I'm keeping the baby and I'm gonna have another actually. I'm gonna make him like me a lot, I'm gonna give him 10K. Boom, he really appreciated that. And we're going to have a baby. You're already pregnant. Oh yeah, oops, that's not how it works, right? You just had a baby daughter, what'll you name her? We're gonna name her Popcorn. Cause doesn't it just remind you of the concession stand? Popcorn Cub Scouts. What about my name? While at a festival, you witness a magician slanging illegal <clears throat> thingies on the street. What'll you do? I'm gonna try to intervene. The magician assaulted you. He slapped your ear. I'm fighting back. You attacked him, but he dodged you. What is with everybody being so fast these days? Make me feel better. Let's have a conversation. What is better, Hunger Game or Twilights? Twilights. Ugh, your boyfriend Jay asked if you would marry him, but the thing is like, I've been like working this up for so long and I've been working like all these part-time jobs to try to make him jealous and he never got jealous and now we're married and like, I like what I can't have. So no, I'm not ready. In fact, I'm dumping you. It's time to vaccinate your daughter popcorn. Let's give her a little vaccination and a little bum bum. We're breaking up, boy. Get out. See ya. I'll find love somewhere else. Fall in love with me for a change. Well, your name never pops up. Why not? <laughs> I don't know I why. Jay and Lauren and Azzy, like, they always come through, and you're just, like, never in any of these. I'm gonna be a go-go dancer. If my name does pop up, it says Terry Buttface. I didn't get a position as a go-go dancer? I guess I'll be a caterer. I don't have time? What the heck? At the hotel where I'm a clerk, they didn't want to give me a raise, so I'm gonna resign and get a another part-time job that pays me a little bit more. Just a little bit more. All of these like really don't pay. Come on, give me that go-go dancer job. I didn't get an interview. Is it because I'm 30? I guess I'll be a camp counselor. Perfect. I now have hay fever. Uh, I don't like that. Can I, can you cure hay fever? I'm gonna go to a medical doctor, Kaylin Diaz. You continue to suffer. Okay, so I'm gonna try the other medical doctor. Come on, please help me. I'm like single. I have nobody to fall back on. I have nobody to take care of me. Somebody, doctor, you have to take care of me. I'm no longer suffering from hay fever. Yeah, yeah. My father passed away at the age of 77. He died after suffering a stroke from working too many part-time jobs. <laughs> Yikes, I guess I'll go to his funeral. That's not good. Well, since I'm so sad about my parents, I'm gonna go on a vacation because I deserve it. I'm gonna go to Ethiopia, because they have good food. I'm going first class. Popcorn does not want to go with me. My kid just doesn't like me that much, do they? Well, I'm going to Ethiopia anyway, because I have to work on my health and my wealth. My daughter Popcorn started elementary school. <sighs> Can Jay take popcorn? I'm so sick of this. Listen, I'm putting popcorn up for adoption. <laughs> oh no, my mother passed away as well. I inherited 400K. She died of malaria. What? You've been released from your position as yoga receptionist? They say it's because you told everyone your Valentine's Day plans were to go home and make love to yourself. I'm lonely. It was a joke. Everyone was talking about all the cool stuff they were gonna do on Valentine's Day. And I was like, well, I don't have a boyfriend, so I'm gonna go make love to myself. And nobody laughed, but like, why would I get fired for that? I got let go from camp counselor. They tell you it's because you're not following protocol. Dude, who wants to get sued? Who wants to get sued? You do. And I'm gonna get Kenshin and Associates. I knew that Corey Kenshin would be a good lawyer. I won my lawsuit against the Independent Fitness Center for terminating my employment. The payout is 150K, so I made more money from it. That's gotta mean that I gotta sue more people. Central Incorporated? Yes. And I'm, my damage is 150K, is that a bit high? I'm gonna go for 100K and I'm gonna go with Kenshin and Associates again. I lost, but they fired me for the wrong reasons. I'm really sad now. Okay, I gotta go on. I gotta go on another vacation. I'm gonna go to Jamaica because that's really pretty and I'm going first class. Why is it so cheap? I'm gonna go somewhere more expensive. Peru would be really nice. I'm going to Peru. Yes, six grand, that's what I want. I'm no longer suffering from depression, but I'm desperately lonely and I can't make jokes about it at my job because I'll get fired. And like, it's really awkward working at a concession now because like before I was working to be close to my ex, but now like I'm close to my ex and we're not together. And I have his kid who I've barely taken care of. Um, I'm gonna ask for a raise. Oh. I got a raise. Okay, well, I'm gonna stay at the concession and I'm also going to be a dance instructor. Hmm, 
good things happening in my life. Work harder. I'm 48 and working so many different part-time jobs. But you know what? I'm what they would call a hustler. I really am. Okay, I just worked harder at all my jobs. Ugh, your car has a clogged air filter. Repair it. I was caught speeding and given a speeding ticket. Well, I've got $1.4 million. Like, come on. Your friends are all on social media. Will you join too? I think I will join social media because everyone's doing it and I'm a millionaire and I'm desperately lonely and I just really want to meet someone. Can I meet someone please? Okay, so do you remember my lawyer, Kenshin and Associates, who like won and lost a lawsuit for me? It appears that Corey is the lawyer's dad and he wants to date me and his smarts isn't very good so it's actually quite a miracle that I won the first lawsuit. I'm gonna ask him on a date. I'm now dating him. Hmm, you've been offered drugs. Give them to me. Great, perfect. I think that I have to go to rehab, please. Rehab center, oh, that's expensive. I'm gonna go to the luxury one. I s continue to suffer. What? I'm going again. Hypnotherapy? Let's do it. You had a hypnosis session, it didn't do anything. Your boyfriend wants to break up with you? He said that you, <laughs> you love fairy dust more than you love him? Please stay. He dumped me anyway, again. I am forever going to be alone for the rest of my life. All I do is work. A guy named Terrence Scott asks you if he can paint a portrait of you. I guess I'll, I'm lonely, I gotta. You've been released from your position as a dance instructor? They tell you that, oh, that your addiction is preventing you from fulfilling. Okay, you know what? This addiction is really, really bad for me, business-wise. Oh, okay. And I got an achievement. Okay, perfect. Can I get my job back? I can't keep a boyfriend. Nobody likes me. I don't know who I am without my part-time jobs. How about a secretary? Perfect. My smarts are going down. I got kicked out of a bar for calling the bouncer ratchet. Ooh, this just is not going well for me. I've been considering taking dance lessons. Okay, why don't we? Why don't we go out? Let's go out to Aristotle. They won't let me in because I'm too old. Hmm. <sighs> Ah, ah, ah! Time to find a hookup. OJ Morgan, let's go. Let's keep going. Oh, yeah. Great, perfect. We love OJ Morgan. All this work and all this money, but what does it mean? Maybe if I keep like looking for dates, I can find my ex again, because I feel like I made a mistake. I do not want to date Jeffrey Stone or Chester or Randy or J James. Hmm, I'm gonna ask him on a date. I'm going out with James. Mm -hmm. Some of your friends are eating sheep's heart. Will you join them? Yes, it might be tasty. I'm an open-minded woman and I really haven't tried too much, so I'm just gonna ho my stats. Ho, they're bad. Your boyfriend James wants to break up with you because he thinks that I'm too negative? No, please, please James. You're the only thing going good for me. Oh, okay. James, we're gonna have to like go and like do something like at the movies? Romantic comedy? He didn't like it. I have E. coli. Great, was it from the hearts I ate? E. coli might actually do me in, so I'm gonna go to the emergency room. I feel better, but poor. Do I still have E. coli? I gotta check with the doctor to make sure. Okay, so it's just a consultation fee. Oh, I have E. coli, and I no longer have it. James asked me to marry him. Oh, our relationship's doing well. He's got good looks, he's smart, he's got money, he's kinda crazy, I'm accepting. Maybe this story is going to have a happy ending. I'm gonna boost my looks because I have to. You receive a coupon for free eyebrow threading from a local salon. Your eyebrows have gotten embarrassingly bushy. I'm gonna thread them. Actually, but like, I kind of like my bushy brows. Like, I think they look good. I guess I'll thread them anyway because it is a boost. You got an eyebrow threading. Well, as long as James likes it, then I guess we're okay. I'm boosting my smarts. A friend gives you a book about the beliefs and ideas of Albert Einstein for your birthday. Thanks, bud, I guess I'll read that. Okay, my smarts are a lot better. Okay, we're back in the green now. Come on, James, we're getting married and this is for real this time. In a vineyard and the honeymoon is going to be in Italy for some pasta. Ooh, it's expensive wedding. My net worth is higher than his. Um, But you know what? I'm getting kind of old. We don't need a prenup. Perfect. And I, I kind of like gump power. Cause like, you know, Gump Geller is like the old me. Gump Power? That's a power name. It's the new me. My husband died the year after I took his name. I'm attending his funeral. No, I, it's like I was meant to be alone. Ah, I don't know what to do. I guess go on vacation, otherwise I'm gonna get real sad real quick. Maybe a cruise, I'm like pretty old. So I'm gonna go on a Mediterranean cruise with a suite. Perfect. I liked it. It's like part-time everything. Like I've got part-time boyfriends, part-time love, part-time jobs, part-time happiness. I don't want Clarence Morgan. I don't want any of these guys. Hmm. 
While trimming the bush, you meet a gentleman named Darius White. Please date me. Thank you. I just want to have a boyfriend. Okay, I'm accepting my this proposal. Your fiance wants to take you sailing. Of course I'll go. I mean, is this the man that's finally going to like take care of me and give me what I need until I- Ah! My life is going good for literally one year and I die. Ah! But hey, the part-time jobs treated me well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you ever want to see me again, make sure that you hit push notifications and ah. Oof, that was so sad. Oh well, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!